Hi everyone, we are going to be doing a reading for Scorpio. So this is going to be for 2023 for January, February and March. We're going to look into various areas of your life for each month, be it love, abundance, career, family, friends, obstacles and your energy. And I just wanted to mention before I start as well, if you wanted to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. If you wanted to purchase any personal services with me, they are listed down below. There's personal tarot readings, rituals to manifest different areas of your life, black magic energy removal, healing work, prayers, and so much more. And there's also the intention items on my website, shopmoonlightguidance.com. At the bottom of my website, there's thousands of five-star reviews. And there's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, sage bundles, tea, candles, and so much more. Okay, so let's begin. I'm going to start first with January, Scorpio. So I'm just going to do the spread for you. whoa do you know what? i just did a very i did a zodiac sign reading just before this and it was heavy um it, it was heavy and do you know what this one it is <laughs> a complete opposite it really is can see that top card and I'll show it to you actually okay we'll take the top card uh, let me see how to do this I do it like that okay so in regards to love Scorpio you have options and choices you may be pursued by more than one person here you may be shown interest by more than one person but there's definitely an energy here that if you want more sorry there's a chain at the bottom of my sweater which just keeps touching the table um so what I would say to you is that you have options and choices and it's your choice whether you choose to open yourself up to more than one person or not. That's completely your choice. But the chariot definitely shows that if you're open to it, there is more than one person coming here. Um, and I also feel here as well that you will just feel so optimistic and happy and just really overjoyed with the fact that you're not going to be alone for the rest of your life and you just don't feel that, you know, you're feeling like, yeah, you know what? Love is out there. It's coming. It's happening. Um, and in January, we see some really nice conversations between you and others, and you just feel optimistic, you feel happy, you feel content. If you have a specific person in your mind, this person is coming forward and communicating with you to a degree that it makes you feel happy, it makes you feel good, it makes you feel like, you know what, you care about me. Ah, oh, that's nice, <laughs> you know? It's that kind of energy if it's just really uplifting you really um, makes you feel light like a fairy is flying abundance wise it's beautiful see king of wands here shows that there's someone here coming towards you okay there is someone here that wants to progress towards you they want to communicate with you they really like you they care about you they um, feel very attracted towards you three of pentacles work wise um, i feel like there's a beautiful opportunity here that you're going to get some kind of work and god that sounded so vague you're going to get some kind of work in regards to work the end. <laughs> um, the, the Three of Pentacles really is about like teamwork. It's about, um, you know, having a new opportunity kind of given to you. It could be a new project. It could be a collaboration, a sponsorship. Um, if you're studying, it could be, um, you know, like um, an internship or I guess, um, how would you call it? It's like, um, you know, a project to earn more credits or, or something like that. And it's a really great opportunity that gives you a lot of experience. And that's what I'm seeing. So it's very abundant here. Okay. And then career wise as well, nine of pentacles, you're feeling really motivated. You're feeling like you can achieve everything. You can do what you have to do. You feel really content. You feel spiritually very enlightened. You have lots of ideas. You feel good within yourself. You feel motivated, excited, rejuvenated. You just feel so good. Honestly, you feel amazing. Friends and family wise, they are there. They are respectful. They are supportive. Nothing major, nothing terrible, nothing bad, which is brilliant to report. The amount of sign readings that I have done for friends and families where there are issues and challenges and problems to not see that for you for January here, Scorpio, is really nice. It's it's not it's not terrible. I mean, listen, they might be a little immature here and there, but it's nothing nothing major. Um, you'll feel very good, very good. 
Um, obstacle wise, you know, Emperor and the Eight of Pentacles, you can just have a little bit more of an expectation from a boss or someone that is regarded to as an, a figure in authority, like kind of just hoping that they made a better decision um, by doing more towards you um, or in regards to your love life, you know, hoping that somebody did more towards you. But Aside from that, I think you're just getting on with work and you're quite busy with work and occupied with work and just getting through work. That's, that's literally what I see. I mean, there's not a huge obstacle here. So, of course, your obstacles are not really obstacles. <laughs> Does that make sense? Going to work is not really an obstacle when you think about it, right? It's just something you do. Um, but, it, you know, that's what we have. Now, your energy here is that you're moving on from pain, trauma, sadness, heartbreak of the past. You are so much more optimistic about your future. You are so much more uplifted in regards to your future. You are living, you know, and breathing to be your best, the best version of yourself. You're taking care of yourself and things are honestly like really coming together to the point where it just gives you so much happiness. And January is really your month. It's your month to flourish. It's your month to say your affirmations. It's your month to be you, to do you, to take care of yourself. This is your month and it is giving so much life to you. It's giving so much abundance and happiness to you. I have to say I'm so, so happy for you, Scorpio. February, Scorpio. You know what else just reminded me? Um, so my grandma, she is uh, 80, 80, oh my gosh, she just had her birthday on Halloween. Like Halloween is her birthday and I just forgot how old she turned, 87, I could be wrong. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. But um, she actually makes, um, and she is the sweetest person. She is literally the most supportive, kind, caring person on this planet. Um, she is so, so lovely. And um, she actually makes the um, crochet manifest your specific person flowers um, and she's a Scorpio and literally as I was doing this reading I was just thinking like you know Scorpios they, they come across as you know intense but they are so warm and loving and just such lo lovely people and I literally just thought oh my god my grandma's a Scorpio and actually my other grandma is also a Scorpio you know what they are loving loving kind human beings <laughs> I just I just thought that because in my mind what just crossed my mind is that people think that you are intense people you know have these assumptions that you are too much you're too this you're too that you're you know toxic there is that um, stereotype for Scorpios and it's so not true it, it really isn't true at all um, so that's just something that's that crossed my mind and I just thought I would mention it by the way if anyone is interested in the manifest your specific person flowers which um, a lot of people have seen results with it's actually linked in the description box but yeah you you guys are loving you are warm you're intense because you feel and you know what it is such a blessing in this lifetime to feel you know, to not feel anything, I think, is a curse. It's terrible. Um, so, you know, the fact that you feel and feel so deeply is, is, you know, yes, it can sometimes feel like a not good thing, but you don't take it to such an extreme. Um, you, you know, you do your best. And I think that's so, so beautiful. Um, never feel like you are too much, okay? Because there is a message that's come out in regards to this. Every zodiac sign has a, has its, I don't know why I put the death on that side, it always goes on this side. Um, every zodiac sign, you know, has traits. Too much of it can be bad, too little of it could be bad. You know, it's, it's all in moderation, essentially. But um, what I want to say here, especially for February, is the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Cups comes through in regards to love. So holding your own boundaries, being yourself, taking care of yourself is what makes you so much more attractive to love and your romantic person like they just see you as so much more attractive when you are you when you're not trying to be someone else or you're not trying to dim or suppress yourself um you know you just come across as so much more attractive to them and I feel like this person here can give you an invitation like let's go here let's go there um I see a drink here okay um just having good food um or good drinks and just really enjoying yourself now when I say drinks I don't specifically mean alcohol you know it could be anything you could literally be drinking water and having a good time <laughs> that's what I want to say but I see like food and drink or perhaps like drinks and dance and 
going somewhere and doing something fun here or perhaps you know them talking about like you know next time we meet we should we should do that so that's what they'll bring up here um the queen of swords is you just really being yourself and enjoying everything you know tremendously from what i'm seeing here now in terms of abundance we see the queen of wands and the knight of swords and i think this is stunning absolutely stunning so what is beautiful here especially in regards to abundance is the fact that you will be appreciated for who you are and the knight of swords shows more progress more movement towards you people are communicating with you a lot more uh, meditate look after yourself be okay with yourself and things are only getting better definitely in your work environment there are people that are so jealous they feel like sometimes you are too much but you're not remember what i said you are not too much um they just want to they're kind of like, um, they're so jealous of you that they don't want you there. And I know that's just the worst thing, honestly, to say, but they just really are, they're just fed up of the fact that you always get so much praise or that people talk about you behind your back in a very good way. They don't like that. There's someone here that doesn't like that. And they just feel it just triggers their ego because they wanted people to be against you, but nobody's really against you. Okay, in the end, um, this entire situation will sort itself out. So let's not panic too much about that. You can't really control what other people are doing to that degree. You know what I mean? Like they'll leave you alone. So that's that's the most important thing. Um, friends and family wise, eight of swords, there's someone here that's isolating themselves from you. Um, they could have gone through some really emotionally like traumatizing situation. Is there someone in your family from what I'm seeing here? And they might not really talk to you. They might keep to themselves. You might find it very odd. Um, it's okay to check up on them and just ask them how they're doing. Cause I feel like they're emotionally going through something and you might find it odd that they're not really talking to you. Um, so there is that. Um, obstacle wise, Hierophant and the Empress, are both double Taurus energy actually when we think about it. But you know what's really beautiful here is that your obstacle here is the fact that you might feel like you are too loving. You might feel like you are too emotionally intense, that you give too much, you do too much. That's your obstacle here. And guess what? That's not really an obstacle when you think about it. So <laughs> there's just a sense here of you feeling more comfortable within yourself and really not blaming yourself from what I'm seeing. Um, two of Swords and the Five of Swords. Um, this is your energy, yeah, you might just feel kind of defensive, like you want to keep to yourself, um, frustrated with people at work as well, just feeling like, why, why are you treating me like this, why are you creating issues like this, so you kind of just feel defensive and keep to yourself, but, you know, that's your obstacle, is feeling like you're a good person, and then you think to yourself, why do these people treat me like this, and guess what, it's not your fault, it's not your problem, um, Listen, how other people treat you is, is not your responsibility. Repeat after me, that is not your responsibility. Um, not everybody can like everyone. Not everybody will hate everybody. It's, it's hard, you know. But you'll get through it, you will. So in March, let's go to... It's not, it's not a terrible reading, okay? It really isn't. I think it's probably one of the best zodiac sign readings I've done for the beginning of 2023. And I still stand by that, even though I'm getting some of these cards out. I still stand by it. cards oh two clarifying cards for that one let's get a clarifying card here and a clarifying card here and a clarifying card there okay <laughs> it just landed there before i could even say that okay so love wise we have here the seven of cups and the two of swords and the four of swords um, so yeah, love wise, I feel like things are kind of just flowing. There's not a lot happening here. Two of swords, you might sometimes feel like you're unsure about what to say in conversation because you might think to yourself like, oh, if I say this, like how are they going to react to it? Maybe I should do this. Maybe I should wear this. Maybe if I do this, then they will like me more like this. And if I do this, they'll appreciate me more like this. And it's just this sense of always wondering like, will they like me if I do this? Will they appreciate me if I do this? And you might find yourself slightly walking on eggshells not completely but you just want to be liked by this person you don't need to worry about that because actually like the more you are yourself and you're not constantly overthinking this they will like you more okay that, that's just that's just the way it is 
Um, and then of course we've got here the the Four of Swords. So it shows that you're feeling pretty peaceful. Seven of Cups, yes, you're daydreaming and wondering, you know, what more is going to progress, how more they're going to come towards you. Um, so it's it's a bit of a it's not a stagnant month in terms of love. It's just a flowing, peaceful kind of month. Not a lot of major progress, but nothing going completely wrong either. Um, it's just that you're overthinking things a lot more on your side. They still will communicate with you here. Um, in terms of abundance, you've got the Six of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. So this person romantically is still coming towards you. And the Queen of Pentacles, you're feeling pretty good and confident within yourself. In terms of career, we have here the Eight of Swords. Okay, this is that sort of isolated energy that you felt of someone not being kind or caring or nice towards you and it just frustrated you it just made you feel like why like why are they being like this to me why um you know it just made you feel so stressed out and frustrated but you know what you know who is who now and you have a lot more stability and a lot more respect in your work environment because people have picked up on the fact that people are picking on you and gossiping and creating issues and they are a lot more stable towards you family and friends wise we've got the four of wands so family situations are actually really great there's a lot of respect and support from your family nothing major to add there and then the page of swords here is a friend who wants to go somewhere with you so you might be meeting up with a friend this month and then we've got obstacles or multiple friends okay <laughs> multiple friends but there's definitely one that wants to meet up with you um in terms of obstacles you've got the ten of wands so sometimes just feeling you know unsure about what to say what to do like you might be overthinking things quite a bit page of cups you feel very optimistic about love and also your career and you know things are slowly getting better and progressing and then obviously the empress here shows you know love and happiness and a lot of respect within yourself and coming from those around you so things are definitely progressing you know i feel like what happened to you in your work environment is only pushing things further forward towards you it's, it's actually moving things along i mean it might not feel like it's moving things along but it is it's really moving things along it's making you a lot happier in the long run and the long haul and the long term it's a lot of longs. <laughs> um, your energy here, you know, at first, at the beginning, I feel like you can feel frustrated, um, especially in regards to your career and those people in those areas. It can just make you so heartbroken, so sad, so frustrated. But guess what? At the end of the day, you gain victory and success and respect and happiness out of that situation. But also in regards to love, you will just be closer to yourself. You will trust yourself. You will be you. And it will stop your overthinking romantically. And then the other person will be like, oh, this is the you that I, you know, really like. It's just you. And you just, I, I just feel like you will find victory and happiness in yourself. And it just allows everything to flow so beautifully. And that's what it's all about, you know. When, it, when it's an amazing reading, it's because you've been led to yourself. And you're taking care of yourself. And you're putting yourself first. And it just allows everything to get better and that's what I'm seeing here so this is your reading if this resonates with you let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already check out the description box below for information on personal services free reading giveaway and intention items which are on my website and I will see you all very soon bye oh I also have tiktok and instagram if anyone wants to follow me on the <laughs> links are down below